In the same week, Angola basketball team lost to Morocco 60 to 53, but it beat Uganda 94 to 89 and Central African Republic 66 to 44 in the AfroBasket tournament in Dakar. Facing Uganda, Morocco and CAR was very difficult. Our team was exhausted. We are in Tunisia to change things. The next match will be more difficult, but we're ready for the challenge. The team is now in Tunisia to prepare for the match against Senegal on Thursday. All the teams that came here came to win. Uh, we prepared this competition to win and uh, we're going to do everything we can to uh, get to the, to the end and win as much as possible. So uh, we're going to respect everybody, we're going to play hard and um, at the end try to win. Sports journalists say the game against Senegal will reveal Angola's real level. Angola lost one match but won two matches. We'll see the real level of Angola against Senegal. It will be a decisive match. Senegal. The president of Angola Basketball Federation is optimistic about his team's result in the tournament. Some of our players, they are young, a little bit nervous, but I think on this phase we will do best. We have 11 titles. Uh, uh, we are playing, uh, we will play our best to see if we can win another title uh, because we, in 2015, we lost. So we are doing our best to see if we can give back our title for our country. In addition to fans who have traveled all the way from their home countries to Tunisia, the Angolan and the Senegalese communities in the North African country are also warming up for the match. Hundreds are expected to support their teams on Thursday. Angola failed to defend their AfroBasket title two years ago, and now the former African champions say they are ready to reclaim their pride, despite quality opposition blocking their way. Adventure Chi CGTN, Tunis, Tunisia.